Hi Pisces, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 25th of October, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. What does Pisces need to be aware of? Messages for Pisces. Coffin, first card of the reading. Something is over. Officially over. The lid is down on the casket. You have gift. Something received after an ending. And then you've got mature man. There's a mature man here. I'm not sure if we saw the mature man yesterday. Older energy. No, I think it was the day before. This person's coming towards you with a gift. Someone that's holding back, someone that's been holding back. There could have been an ending um, between you and them. There could have been an ending in your life and this person is someone new that's coming in. <clears throat> but the thing is, though, you've got Thief on the back of the deck. This could be a renewal of something that ended. They could be someone that's a teacher, that's wise, mature. They watch you though. They are someone that's intelligent. Someone that's read a lot of books, studies. What does Pisces need to know? You have the Empress, the Six of Cups in reverse. What does Pisces need to know? Spirits. The world, Capricorn energy. Then you've got the tower. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords. The Page of Wands. The Eight of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. Pisces will grab out some clarifiers and then we will get into the reading. The Empress, Taurus energy. The Mother. The mother of the deck. The divine feminine. What is the empress here for Pisces? The eight of pentacles. Something you're working on. You could have an idea. It could be something to do with stability. You could be working on your family, you know, looking after your family. You've got judgment. So someone that's woken to their call in this lifetime. You've got judgment, Scorpio energy, and someone that's made a decision. There's something you're working on. You could be doing three jobs. You could be working on three different things. To me, there's only one person there. As you can see, there's only one person on that card. So I feel like you're doing the work of three all by yourself. There's something about juggling things at the moment because on the back of the deck here, you've got the two of pentacles, 
But the thing is, though, there's only one ship there. So whatever you're working on, there could be things that you're working on right now in your life that there's no fruition that is coming out of it, but you're still, you know, focusing on it uh, because it's something that you know is going to come in later on. What is the Six of Cups in reverse? So Six of Cups in reverse, you've got the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. There could have been a soulmate that's disappeared out of your life, you know, with that Six of Cups in reverse that's coming out. Someone that could have been, someone that could have decided to give to a third party with the Queen of Wands. Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be significant, but there's something about... I feel there's an energy here of... There's a soulmate that I feel is giving to something else, and I feel like you're on your own path now. This is in the recent past, though, Pisces. So I feel like you and this person may still think about each other as to why this Six of Cups energy is still around this these thoughts of these two people moving away from each other. Um, I feel like you're someone that's leaving something catastrophic. There's a volcano in the background there. This person here is looking for their truth, okay? So you could have ended not on well terms, but there's these two soulmates I feel that are still thinking about each other, even though they could not be in each other's lives. What is the world? So you have the hanging man in reverse. What is the world? The queen of wands. The queen of pentacles, the two of wands and the four of swords. So there was a cycle that I feel completed in your recent past, okay? Somewhere where I feel like there was no balancing of scales with the justice card on the back of the deck. Someone I feel... I feel like you're seeing things straight. You're seeing things for what they are the cycle being completed as you've got that coffin coming out there with that ending. But you're seeing things, you know, you're not seeing things from a different point of view. You see things, I feel, straight, full on. You see clarity and truth. Could be about a third party situation. You could have heard about a third party situation. But I feel like this person made some type of choice to go another way. Okay, and you're going your way. You're focused on yourself. There's something that there's a birth of an idea that you're working on at the moment, Pisces, but there's a closing of a cycle out. Okay, and I feel like you're choosing to heal here in the recent past, someone that could be resting. I feel like this could have also been something that was really exhausting. So there's someone sleeping on that card. So two soulmates walking away from each other, closing that cycle out. Let's see what the tower is. What is the tower? What is the tower for Pisces? You have temperance. You have the wheel of fortune. And the Hierophant. So you're running away from this in the current energy. To me, when I was drawing out the cards, I looked at that tower card and it was like someone was running away before it like exploded. So something here is getting knocked down because it wasn't built on steady foundation. That cycle is completely closing out because of conflict, there could also be competition in your energy, in this person's energy. People, I'm just going to let my cat out.
Okay. But as I was saying, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Let's close that door now. Running away from this, learning the lessons. Something could have happened that made you break away from this energy. I feel like this was a hard lesson for you to learn, Pisces. But I feel like it's making you a stronger person. I feel like there was just, there was like no luck in this. But I feel like you are closing that cycle out. You are walking away from that. You are healing. Okay, slowly. Things are changing though in the current energy. Now you're closing that cycle out. I feel like something good is now coming towards you. It could be a commitment. It could be some type of higher commitment. We'll keep going. What is the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands for Pisces? Justice. The Ten of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. You've got the Knight of Wands, Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is where your scales are going to start getting balanced out again. Okay, now you're running away from that tower, that, that tower that keeps waving in the breeze. There's an energy here. I don't know whether this is someone new or not, Pisces, but, you know, this is a night. This is someone taking action. There could be a younger energy coming towards you with a new opportunity, something that's going to sort of be like a breath of fresh air, okay? I feel like you don't actually see this coming. Fire energy could be significant. It could have something to do with the material world. But I feel like this is someone that's seeing you in this energy of um, feeling betrayed, Someone that's desiring this action to come forwards and like give you something. So whether it's like a healing energy, it could be a collaboration, but it's going to take you on this new journey. What's the Six of Swords? The Knight of Cups. So there's that action being taken forwards. And this action's being taken calmly, slowly moving forwards into this new world. The turbulence is starting to subside and you've got the sun, Leo, and the five of cups. There is an energy here that's reliable, that's taking you on this path, they could be the ones actually rowing the boat. This is someone that follows you. Someone that looks at you like, you know, you are the high priestess. You are someone that's following your path and this person's like following you. Earth could be significant, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You're too focused on the present. You're too focused on this energy that you're leaving, that you don't see this person and who they are and what they're doing. 
like the sun is behind you this is a divine connection leo could be significant it doesn't have to be this is someone that's taking you on a new journey it could be a family member it could be a friend this is a divine connection it's a soulmate it's someone that's wanting to be reliable i also keep looking at the high priestess card so it's it's like some type of spiritual connection that's helping you move away from that past a gift from the gods yeah like an angel sent down to you what is the page of wands here the ten of cups the king of swords and the three of swords This may be someone that's been betrayed in the past. This may be someone that's been in a relationship where they've been betrayed, which has made them like a cold energy, king of swords, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's moving you into a calmer water though. This person is looking at you like a happiness. And as I said, there's someone that follows you. There's someone that follows your footsteps. You've got the emperor coming out. Aries energy could be significant. That boss, mature man energy. They could be a father. Aries, as I said. This could be a younger energy with the page of wands, but this could also be someone that's new. But I feel like this person has had hurt in their past um something to do with a relationship or you know the things that they care about they've been hurt in the past but this is someone that wants to start this new journey with you that wants to move forwards so whether this is like a collaboration but this is that gift that's being sent down as i said from the heavens what is the eight of cups you've got the six of swords the page of wands while you move on while you move into this new world on this new journey into a new cycle mm, there could be someone here you've got the six of wands someone walking in that's wanting victory that's wanting success uh, with you this person could be someone that gets a lot of attention it could also be a young energy. You've got two page of wands here. So two people that are very, they could be a lot alike. There's someone that you're leaving with. And there's this other energy here. There's this competition. Like they come in with an idea. Like they come in with the same type of energy as this other person. They're trying to stop you while you're on your journey. This is someone that wants to fight for this, but this person only gave you eight cups. They did not give you the ten cups. This other energy wants to give you the ten. Okay, they want to give you everything. They only gave you the eight, but they are going to fight for it. They want the success. They want to win this challenge. It's the only word that's coming out. What's the Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords for Pisces. What will you choose? You are so in your head about this. 
You've got the Nine of Swords coming out. This is going to be a hard decision to make. I feel there are two people here in competition for your attention, for your affection, but there will be a new beginning. Tell us more about the Ace of Wands. What is the Ace of Wands? So you're going to make a decision. It's going to be a hard decision to make, Pisces. You've got strength coming out, Leo energy. You're taking some type of new opportunity that's taking you into a new world. What's that Ace of Pentacles, Spirits? What is this new beginning? There's going to be some type of truth. We have been seeing that. There's going to be a truth that's going to come out to you that's going to help you make your decision on who to pick. Okay, there's something emotionally coming forwards. There could also even be somebody coming actually like physically towards you. This could be a cancer. You've got the King of Pentacles, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus could also be significant. Boss energy, you attract boss energy. Oh, look at that. And you've got the King of Wands. You have a King of Pentacles and a King of Wands. Very fiery, desirable energy, but then you've also got this reliable, stable energy. But there's going to be... There's going to be some information that you're going to hear that's going to help make you help you choose the right decision. I just saw the Ace of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? What's this choice? You may not see everything clearly. Also, there's something about illusions. Could be online you've got the nine of cups one of these options is that wish fulfillment temperance the queen of swords and the emperor so there's going to be a decision being made there could be a decision being made to heal a connection You got the Five of Swords again. You could decide to heal a connection with an energy. You've got the Emperor. Aries could be significant. It could be the X energy. I feel this person, they don't want to leave just yet or if ever <laughs> this person looks at you like a wish fulfillment i feel like they're going to try and do anything they possibly can to try and keep this together so for the five of swords you've got the wheel of fortune i feel like this person is receiving the karma for whatever they've done to you in the past pisces because you've moved on from that energy you closed a cycle out there's something new in your life Yeah, they're going to come back. And the thing is, though, they're receiving their karma for what they've done. They manipulated the situation. This could have been a karmic cycle in the past. Uh, but things, I feel, are going to change. Okay, I don't think they're happy. They're not happy when you walk away. But this person... Virgo energy, Sagittarius could be significant. They treat you like they they manipulate it. They breadcrumb you. They did that. You walked away. But they, now they receive that karma because you did. But I feel like they're going to come back. They're going to come back. But there's going to be a truth somewhere, whether it's this person or that other energy that's around you, um, that's going to give you a truth that's going to help you make 
that decision. But you could possibly choose the past. You know, everyone's got free will. I'm not going to judge you on what decision you make. You know, whoever is the person that you're supposed to be with is the person you want to be with. Everyone living, everyone is living their own life. Okay. So whatever decision you choose is your decision, is the right decision for you. But someone's going to make things a lot more clearer to help you make the choice. Let's now grab you out a music message. Can't help falling in love, Elvis Presley. So listen to that song. It will have messages. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I am also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.